gather around, Manes. And let me tell you the tale of a bear. It was a crisp winter morning and the hundred acre shower with calm snow blanketing everything in sight. It would be a time of endurance for the shower's inhabitants as nothing new could grow until spring. It is for this reason that Sudsy would prepare a winter season's worth of bricks for his friends to use as he retired for his yearly hibernation, stocked up on food and soap, only waking to occasionally eat and shower. But just as Sudsy had slipped into his nightgown, he heard screaming from outside his den. Sudsy! It was Bricklet the Boar, and he was squealing as if in perilous danger. Oh, bother. What is it now, Bricklet? Can't you see I'm ready to sleep? Asked Sudsy. Sudsy, it's an emergency. We're out of soap. What do you mean, out of soap? I specifically made sure to have a batch to last to the winter. It's gone! The brick house is empty! It must have been stolen! You'll have to make more, or we'll go unclean! Make more? Look around you, you dumbass pig! I can't make more! There are no fresh ingredients to be found! Snapped Sudsy, already irritable at his lack of sleep. Let's search the forest! There has to be something! Pleaded Bricklet, and so the two searched the frostbitten woods, desperately scouring for any color other than white in the increasingly hopeless situation. There's nothing, Bricklet! Nothing! It would take a miracle for us to find something And then he saw it, a little speck of red in the distance. The pair ran towards it with haste. It was a raspberry, a little perfectly fresh raspberry, shining like a glimmer of summer in the winter hellscape. Sudsy, look! There's a frickton! They had found a treasure trove of raspberry bushes, plenty to make a new soap to last the winter. And so Sudsy got to work on his latest brick. With an added touch of cream, it was a bar that could persevere in even the most dire of times. The shower had been saved, and now Sudsy could go hibernate in peace. But something had caught his eye in the corner of the den. It was a stash of soap, the missing winter stockpile. Oh, bother. So that's where it went, said Sudsy, picking one up. Oh well, may as well go hit the shower again. And that means it's how a single raspberry was able to save the hundred acre shower from certain uncleanliness. Yeah, man! Welcome to the Frick Cast and to the Sudsy Bear Soap Guides. Today, we have a taste of the raspberries and cream. This is an OG offered by Sudsy Bear, a raspberry counterpart to the fan favorite blueberries and cream. But can this version live up to the lofty expectations that comes with that? Now, I do have the old style bar here, back when it was called Summer Raspberries and Cream on the packaging, but I do believe this is the same formula. And with that, let's get into this delicious brick. We'll begin with the unique ingredients, and we have quite a bit of nifty ones today. Let's start with Raspberry Essential Oil, which is full of antioxidants and helps skin retain moisture. It's notable for protecting as well as repairing the skin's barrier. It improves elasticity adds smoothness, and overall just hydrates and nourishes skin. There's also vanilla absolute as well as ground vanilla beans. Now vanilla contains some anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, and antioxidant properties. Activated charcoal is going to help soak up excess oil and impurities, in turn helping to improve complexion and appearance. Goat's milk is always a nifty one. We could go on for like half the video about this bad boy, but let's start by talking about how it's a deeply moisturizing, cleansing, anti-aging, anti-inflammatory ingredient that soothes and repairs skin. It locks in moisture as well as gently exfoliates. Oat milk is an antioxidant ingredient that moisturizes, soothes, and repairs skin. Milk thistle powder is again an antioxidant and anti-inflammatory ingredient that soothes and protects. There is also shaved coconut. Now coconut is a nourishing, hydrated ingredient with some antibacterial properties. And finally we have poppy seeds. These are of course going to be providing our grit today. In this case a medium level that is going to help clear away dead skin and impurities as well as allow the rest of this stacked bar to clean deeper. Overall we have a bar that is absolutely slammed with nourishing and moisturizing ingredients, rich in antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. It seems really designed to help dry or irritated skin. With raspberries being a superfood, it should be no surprise that this is a super brick. The scent is very much in the same vein as the blueberries and cream, 
and that it's another fruity, slightly sour, and somewhat candy-esque, but a very nifty one. There are notes of vanilla and cream, but it's the raspberry that is the star of the show here. If you liked the blueberries and cream, you'll probably like this one as well. It's essentially like the blueberry was swapped for raspberry, so you may prefer one over the other. Personally, I like blueberries a lot more, and I found its scent to be more appealing as well as a lot more potent. The raspberry boy is around a medium potency, it's not quite as dominant. It's still a great scent though, and perfect if you like these sort of fruity style bars, as it makes a very clean impression. It's a brick that also shines in the shower, a thick creamy lather and deep moisturizing clean help the bar to further stand out. And it also contains a nice amount of grit via poppy seeds. I find they work very well here and do provide around a medium level of grit, although it may lean more on the lighter side of that. It's one of the deeper cleaning bars I've used. It's going to leave your skin feeling hydrated, soothed, and nifty. Plus, combined with that fresh, fruity scent, it's a very refreshing brick that is more juicy than an actual raspberry. Now, as for my thoughts, I think the raspberries and cream is a well-made bar and excels in a lot of ways. I don't think it's quite one of my favorites from Suzy though, and as such, I think we'll rank it as a rather nifty for now. We'll slide it between the Fright Night and the Fresh Clean Aloe. The bar doesn't do anything wrong, there's just a lot of great Sudsy bricks. The scent is my type of scent. I love the fruity raspberry smell with the background notes of vanilla, cream, and sourness. Raspberry wouldn't be that high on the fruit tier list for me, but I do really like it in brick form. The medium grit, the deep, nourishing, and moisturizing clean make it an equally great bar to use. The ingredients really stand out here, and combine for an excellent bar in all aspects. My biggest issue is that I just prefer the blueberries and cream, and can't help but see this one as a slightly lesser version. Which is probably not a fair criticism, but I still like this one a lot. If you're someone who maybe prefers raspberries to blueberries, maybe give this one a go. That's only my opinion though, and I'd love to hear yours in the comments. What do you think of the raspberries and cream? How do you feel it compares to the blueberry boy? Let me know if you get your hands on this ripe brick. Sudsy had saved the 100 acre shower from certain uncleanliness, with the help of a resilient raspberry bush. But there are still many more brick tales to be told, which should be next.